Hey guys, Bill is George here, and today I'm doing a continuation video from my sister's MacBook Pro that I um, built. I put two SSDs in there and I maxed it out to 16 gigs of RAM, and I'm going to teach you guys how to get um, RAID 0 on Sierra. So basically, when it comes to that, um, to making the RAID 0, you can't go past High Sierra, that's why I chose Sierra. Um, it's the only OS that officially supports RAID. After that, they just completely ditch it afterwards. So I'm grabbing the two SSDs right now and creating them together. You can see the RAID set estimate um, is 500 gigs, both being combined. Follow the exact format that I have right now for um, the RAID. And once you guys have it the way I do, just create the partition and it'll be combined into one drive. Basically, I'm doing this all because of the high write speeds that um, that the two SSDs can do together. It's 900, I think. You guys will see at the end of the video. But there you guys go. It's online and it's working. So I'm going to quick out a disk utility and reinstall OSX uh, Mountain Lion. Um, I'm, I don't have the USB that um, to do it, so I'm doing it all online. This is very easy if you don't want to pay for the um the usb and just do it online but it will install the the software that it came with when it first began so it's going to take a while here's a clip here's a picture of mine when i did it um 299 million hours later but my sisters did a whole lot better we got 16 minutes and it's installing um osx so now we're in osx and i'm on the apple's website I'm gonna leave a link down there um, in the description to where you guys can find OS Sierra. Apple likes to hide this stuff, but it's still officially um, supported on their website and will um, will let you download. So I'm, I already have it downloaded and I'm gonna start the installation process. You can see when I press continue and move forward, you guys will see that the partition is still there. After that, it's gonna install. Um, just click the install button press continue, have the battery um, plugged in. I didn't obviously, I had more than enough battery. Put the password in if you guys already set one for the laptop, press okay, and then it should just automatically do the process for you. Um, I'm just gonna speed it up and fast forward, um, fast forward through it. Then it's gonna restart and then it's gonna um, do the whole installation process as well. After that, um, I'm just going to flip over to, um, to the on screen and show you guys what you guys need to do to enable trim on, on Mac OS Sierra. So the screen right now is going to flip onto the MacBook. I have the command for it. You guys are going to go ahead and find terminal, um, copy and paste what you guys got, enter in the password if you guys have one set for the laptop, and this will enable trim for the laptop right now. Just type in Y and then um, it will reboot and then you'll have trim enabled. So um, trim is being enabled, the computer's gonna um, restart and now we're gonna see some write speeds. Basically the write speeds for this computer is 900 megabytes write and almost a gig worth of um, read speeds. So that's basically it. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you guys like my horrible commentary, subscribe to the channel. If you guys have any questions down below, drop them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them for you. I know it's overkill for someone that's not going to use all this stuff, but on um, more power to her, she got a top-notch laptop. Anywho, see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.